ओके स्टूडेंट्स लेट कंटिन्यू अवर टॉपिक पोलराइजेशन सी इफ वी यूज एनी डायलेक्ट्रिक पोलर और नॉन पोलर इट्स इफेक्ट इन एक्सटर्नल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज सेम ओके ओके वेदर पोलर और नॉन पोलर डायलेक्ट्रिक डेवलप्स अ नेट डाइपोल मोमेंट इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एक्सटर्नल फील्ड इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एक्सटर्नल फील्ड सी यू नो दिस फिगर okay in both cases this behavior of dielectric is in electric field so here we have to define a quantity that is the net dipole moment the net dipole moment per unit volume is called polarization it is definition of polarization polarization is also indicated by p is equal to net dipole moment per unit volume so you have to remember this one definition okay what is polarization it is its definition what is concept each and every dipole aligns in the direction of electric field yes for linear isotropic dielectrics we know that p is proportional to e means this polarization depends on external electric field if we remove this proportionality we have to add some constant and it is P is equal to don't laugh. Okay, P is equal to chi e e. It is symbol. And how to read this symbol? Chi e. How to record? How to read this symbol? Chi. It is chi. Okay. And as it is for electric field, it is chi e. Okay. It is constant characteristics of dielectric and it is called electric susceptibility. Chi e. is called electric susceptibility it is characteristics of medium as medium changes its electric susceptibility changes okay now see we have consider one case it is substance polar or non polar okay each and every molecular dipole okay each and every molecular dipole external electric field is in this direction so each and every molecular dipole aligns in the direction of electric field c its dipole moment from negative to positive in this direction from negative to positive in this direction each and every dipole aligns such that dipole moment is in direction of electric field yes clear so as shown in figure here what you have to do c if you consider if you consider some element element like this volume element like this okay when you go to surface then if you observe now one positive charge of a dipole cancels negative charge of another dipole because they are close to each other so if you take volume element inside such a dielectric then then these charges will cancel out each other these charges in this volume element cancel out each other only only charges left on the side only charges are left on the side see on this side positive charge is left on this side negative charge is left they are unneutralized they are unneutralized okay so as shown in figure the positive ends of dipole remain unneutralized at right surface and negative ends at the left surface and here total negative charge is induced here total positive charge is induced these all charges are neutralized these all charges are neutralized so we can say here on this surface only negative charge here only positive charge okay and now these charges produce this electric field inside dielectric inside dielectric clear okay these charges are charges from dielectric so they are not free charges they are called bound charges and it is its surface charge and it is sigma b on this side minus sigma b on this side and due to this surface charge and it is 
electric fields produced in this direction. Now we know that these both electric fields are in opposite direction. So in a dielectric resultant electric field decreases. Resultant electric field decreases. How to write? See, the unbalanced charges are induced charges due to external field. Here positive charge and here negative charge. They are bound charges due to external field. Thus polarized dielectric is equivalent to two charge surfaces with induced charge density sigma b and minus sigma b. See, now this substance, it behaves as two planes. It is positive plane and it is negative plane. Having surface charge density, sigma b and minus sigma b. Bound charge density. Field due to bound charges opposes external field. Yes, from figure it is clear. So, resultant electric field decreases. Resultant electric field inside the electric decreases. Clear? So, it is how behavior of dielectric in external electric field. Now, one last one. See, what is definition of polarization? Definition of polarization is total dipole moment per unit volume. Now, see, on dielectric, this side, positive charge. Here, negative charge. Surface charge density sigma b. Surface charge density minus sigma b. If cross sectional area of this dielectric is A, then what is charge on this surface? What is charge on this surface? Q is equal to what? It is sigma into A. So here, QB is equal to plus sigma B into A. Clear? This side, what is charge? So again here, QB bound charge is equal to minus sigma B into A. Clear? Surface charge is sigma B. Area is A. So what is charge on it? QB is equal to plus sigma B into A. This side, minus sigma B into A. C, positive charge, negative charge, equal and opposite. Separated by finite distance T. Separated by finite distance T. Then what is dipole moment? Total dipole moment? QB into T. Charge into distance. Divided by volume. Clear? What is this net dipole moment? QB into D upon B. Now what is QB? Sigma B into A. Into D upon A. So this ADA we cut. You will get P is equal to sigma B. It means polarization is equal to bound charge density. Polarization is equal to bound charge density. And it is one important result that you have to remember. Polarization is equal to bound charge density. Clear? So it is all about what is behavior of dielectric in external electric field. Pause your video and write down from board. We will continue this topic. Okay, see one example based on polarization. See, example 2.6. Dipole moment of a molecule is 10 to minus 29 kilometer. A mole of substance is polarized. Polarized means each and every molecular dipole aligns in the direction of electric field. E is equal to 10 raised to 6 volt per meter external electric field. Now if direction of electric field is changed by 60 degree, what is heat released by substance? See how to solve this question. You are given dipole moment of a molecule and you are also given a mole substance. In one mole substance, number of molecules are 6 into 10 is 23, I will get to number, just we know. So if dipole moment of one molecule is 10 is to minus 29 kilometer, what is dipole moment of 6 into 10 is to 23? Total dipole moment, 6 into 10 is to 23 into 10 is to minus 29. So you will get P is equal to 6 into 10 is to minus 6 kilometer. Now read this statement, a molecule, a mole substance is polarized, polarized means each and every dipole aligns in the direction of electric field. Means angle between dipole moment and electric field is zero. So yes, initial potential energy U1 is equal to minus P E cos zero. It is P E cos zero one. You will get minus six joule. Clear? Clear? Now, if electric field is changed by sixty degree. Then yes, also each and every dipole tries to align in that direction. Yes or no? So 
What is now angle between P and E? If direction of electric field is changed by 60 degree, yes, 60 degree. So final potential energy U2 is equal to minus P E cos 60 P e. e cos 61 by 2. It is minus 3 joule. So change in potential energy U2 minus U1 is equal to final potential energy minus initial potential energy is equal to 3 joule. Means there is a change in potential energy. Hello, potential energy is changed, and yes, this change in potential energy is equal to heat released according to law of conservation of energy. Clear? So it is example 2.6 easy and short. One extra question. See, if potential V is equal to x square y plus y square z plus zx square. Find value of electric field at point 1 to 1. See how to find. Here this potential is function of x, y and z. 3 coordinates. Okay. Then how to find. See. First of all, we will find x component of electric field. What is equation? Ex is equal to minus dv upon dx. When you have to find x component of electric field, differentiate potential with respect to x, keeping y and z constant. Keeping y and z constant. See, differentiate this equation with respect to x. What will you get? 2xy plus 0 plus 2zx. Yes, here it is. Minus 2xy plus 0 plus 2zx. Put value of x, y, z. See, you have to find electric field at point 1 to 1. Means it is x, it is y and it is z. So, put the value of points. 1, 2 and 1. If you will put value, you will get minus 6. What is value of ex? Minus 6. Similarly, you have to find y component of electric field. Ey is equal to minus dv upon dy. So, it is equal to minus differentiation of this potential with respect to y x square plus 2yz plus 0 put x, y, z x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 1 you will get minus 5 you will get minus 5 clear? now find ez is equal to minus dv upon dz you will get again you will get again minus 5 so how to write in electric field? electric field E is equal to Exi plus Eyj plus Ezk Put value of ex, ey, and ez. You will get e is equal to minus x i minus 5j minus 5a. And how to find its magnitude? And e is equal to under root minus 6 square plus minus 5 square plus minus 5 square. Now you can calculate this by yourself. Clear? So it is one question. Okay, how to find electric field from a potential? Pause your video, write down from board and make notes. Hello students, there is one important message for you. Okay, uh, we have completed first chapter and also second chapter is how. We will arrange test next week, next Monday of chapter 1. So prepare chapter 1. If you have any doubt, then send notes on my WhatsApp number. I will try to solve your all doubts. Okay, but be regular. Be regular. If you are parallel to this video lectures, you can also give time to solve some extra questions, worksheets, and to prepare for JWA and NEET. Okay, so be regular. Be safe. Stay at home and enjoy video lectures.